got a report of 150 pounds more. Our hazmat team is one of only a handful of state-supported, state-funded hazmat teams um, spread out across the Commonwealth of Virginia. And so they, they are trained at the highest level of training and equipped at the highest level of capability. And they're really a self-sufficient team. They can respond to a request from the State Department of Emergency Management through the state's Emergency Operations Center to deploy on any kind of a hazardous materials incident, uh, really anywhere in the state. Usually when you have strange calls for service at the, every engine company and every truck company run, uh, occasionally they'll get stumped with a smell or, or some type of chemical problem and then we're the ones that they call to for assistance. The HAZMAT team responds to approximately 80 calls a year. The majority of those are inside Henrico County. Uh, probably 10 a year will be outside of Henrico County within the state's region that they that were responsible for protecting. Fire departments from Community A, Community B, Community C can get more done if they work together. Having those relationships in place when the emergency actually occurs, instead of not having those relationships and having to meet people on the incident scene, you know, that's, that's no way uh, to, to run uh, an emergency operation. So by training together, working together, building relationships with our peers um, in other jurisdictions, we're really better able to cooperate and help each other out during times of emergency. I think most of our citizens have no idea what a specialty team is or what it does for them, but what they don't have to know, they can just rest assured that really whatever type of emergency um, they might have, we're gonna be prepared and positioned to respond to it professionally and efficiently.